I love crowds. I'm a big fan of crowds, um, and I, you know, and crowds can be used in a very negative way. Um, you know, you can have angry mobs, and and uh, but I, I I love seeing a crowd come together for a common good, or a crowd come together to just pull off something that that's awesome. For improv everywhere projects, I've learned that I need to make things very simple. You know, to get a group of hundreds or thousands of people to do something that just that can't be too many instructions. Um, it, you can get a couple hundred people to freeze in place. Like that's, that's such a simple instruction. And the other thing I've learned about crowds too is that it's better to trust the, the creativity and the wisdom of the crowd than to try to micromanage it yourself. So for example, in our Frozen Grand Central project, I didn't give people specific instructions for how to freeze in place. I didn't say like, okay, well you guys will be a couple and you and you'll be drinking a you know a can of coke and you'll be doing this. I just sort of crowdsourced it and let them decide. I gave them the instructions of freeze doing something active. If you're just like standing there, then it might just look like you're standing there. But if you're in the middle of a high five or a handshake, it's very clear that you're frozen. But I, you know, apart from listing maybe two or three examples, that was it, and I let everybody decide for themselves. And I was so happy that I did that because everyone made such creative choices, you know, that, that I, if I had sat down and tried to write down 200 interesting things, I wouldn't have thought of the couple that, you know, kissed for five minutes. Or the woman that was like eating, an, uh, you know, yogurt for five minutes and the yogurt's like dripping down, you know, off her spoon by the end. Um, so I have learned to, allow people to use their own creativity in these situations to bring their own ideas and their own perspective to it and it makes the whole experience richer. One thing that I've learned about crowds that is sort of a negative thing that if one person, all it takes is one, maybe two people to sort of break the rules or to do what they're not supposed to do for everything to spiral out of control. We did an MP3 experiment in Bryant Park a few years ago um, where one of the props people were supposed to bring was a roll of toilet paper. And the idea was at the very end, we were going to make toilet paper mummies. And then everybody danced around um, looking like mummies in the park. And it worked and it looked really cool visually, especially we had a camera in a, t a tall office building across the street. But the Bryant Park people who had invited us to stage the project there were very concerned when I told them that I was having people bring toilet paper to the park, rightfully so. And I said, no, 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 the, ex the instructions are gonna say several times, do not throw your toilet paper. You know, they were picturing like all their trees being toilet papered. Um, and it went well and then sort of right at the end of the experiment, one person threw his toilet paper into the air. And, you know, that person was an asshole. Like they shouldn't, they very clearly said, don't do that. But that one person did it. And then I think it's really the fault of the second person, even more. The person who saw the first person said, yeah, I'm gonna do it too. Because uh, after the second person does it, then it becomes, okay, now we can all do it. Like this is something we're doing. So pretty quickly we had like a thousand people <laughs> throwing toilet paper into the air and it looked amazing. Like it, visually it was so cool. Ultimately I'm happy that it happened. That is certainly one thing I've learned about crowds is that it can just sort of take one person to set a crowd off on the wrong path. But in general the people that come out and participate in these things are doing it for the right reasons. I'm Charlie Todd and this is Epiphany. Epiphany.